And it's Priscilla Batteau in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression to Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And pardon me while I pretend you're not even here because I have a triple primed 24 by 18, maybe 20, not sure which one it is, size canvas in front of me and all kinds of tools and toys which I am hoping will inspire me to do something right now to amuse myself. And I would like it to be a lot less like pouring and a lot more like what I like to do, which is basically just putting paint on canvas and having a good time. And since I've just mixed up myself, let's make sure all those hairs are off. This is like a double primed canvas. I use the Artist Loft Black on this. And I just want to play. And I'm willing to risk it. I'm not sure if I'm going to tip. I'm not really sure of anything right now, but I am sure that I have some colors that I'd like to play with. And I just mixed a purple. I ran out of my normal purple and I had to mix one with uh, some other colors. I used some golden magenta and uh, some blue from Master's Touch. I'm not, like I said, I'm not the least bit sure of what I'm doing, but I know if I start, I'll be okay. It's not the hottest day, and that's a really good thing, because on the hottest day, I couldn't do what I'm playing, planning on doing. I just want to experiment. And maybe I'm going to start by letting some paint go over the side. And I like the combination of what I've got here. And I want to see how it makes me feel when I put it down. And I might just rest my spatula while I choose some other colors. And I, I can get three quarters of the way through pretty much any fluid art painting and still not be super, super happy and still come back from that disaster, except for when the paint doesn't come out. Okay, well, moving on to something else. I don't think I've ever done exactly this, and I'm not going to hold myself to any sort of rules. As in, everything can make a mark, everything can become something else. I may even mix up a pan of colors if I can manage to have that amount of time. If I leave my bottles out of my way, I have a very good chance of making this work out. And I'm just starting now with colors that I like and experimenting on the black canvas because I love black canvases and I don't think I'm the only one. And yeah, I'm used to talking to you guys, so even though I said I was pretending you weren't here, obviously, <laughs> you're still here, so. I don't think I need that in the way anymore. I'm going to try and leave my tops off. I don't want that yellow with the spatula I've got. I would like to have some black showing through, so my aim is not to cover everything. My definite aim is to yeah, okay. The definite aim is to, um, yeah, I forgot that thought. <laughs> to have some fun, that would be my normal thought. I am going to try and let some paint fall down over the side because I can. Ooh, that's the name of my book on the Amazon link, which I always remember. Um, 
So, I know I said I wasn't going to try and fill in the canvas, but I'm really having a pretty good time. And I love these two colors together, and I'm going to see if they still work the same way I hope they do. And I'm not seeing the reaction I expected. It's okay. Even if I didn't like this tomorrow, I could pour over it and use it as a background. So that's always a plan in the back of my head. And I've got bamboo skewers to waggle with. And I can lead paint wherever I want. And where's my gold gone? I want to try some of the mica gold powder. And see how I like that. I mean, this is a really large canvas, and I did spend like three days getting it ready. But, like I said, my rationalization is that I can always use it for something else if I want to. And I really want to have some fun right now. As much as I like that purple, I kind of want some Prussian blue. And I'm going to try and give myself permission not to change every little bit of paint into something that gets a swipe added to it. And I'm going to keep trying to get my bottles out of the way. Which is a tall order in a small space, but it could still happen if I spend a moment doing it every so often, so you will forgive me. And I am actually pretty hopeful that I can keep this folk art purple. Probably not once I've mixed it in with something next to it, but um, I'm going to try and keep my eye out for what I like and use the paint on my spatula because every time I have a spatula with paint on it, it means that I can create some cells. Combining two colors seems to create cells every time. Now where's my... I do want to wipe off my spatula unless it has the colors I want on it, like so. And then because it's a gallery about two inch side, I'm probably going to try and remind myself to use the paint on my spatula to go over the edges. I don't know. We've got eight minutes left. I don't think I want it to mac matter how long this takes. Because if I let that matter, then it won't become whatever it's supposed to come as easily for me. And like I said, there's always tomorrow, and, um, and, um, and um, nothing. And I just want to use my colors as colors. And create shapes as I go along where they feel right. And move things around with my skewer. If I need more paint on a skewer, just add it right to the skewer. And I'm having a good time, <laughs> which was what my whole plan was to begin with. going to use that other paint. Have a look. I can dip my skewer into paint, steel paint, and move paint. Looks like some of the white metallic from Anita's is drying up. I'm kind of liking what I've got. I could actually stop pretty quick and not be terribly unhappy about it.
I don't mind the paint on the skewer because I really do like altering the look of the solid colors. I'm sorry if there's some of this stuff you can't see. Just using the tip of my skewer, I get my bead of paint from the squeeze bottles close and then I just sort of nudge nudge the end of the trail and I'll do it again because they're beautiful colors and I should have permission to be myself and so should you Just going to dip that ever so gently. They do bleed together sometimes, for sure. Boy, that's tempting. Why not just give in to temptation then? As far as painting goes anyway. <laughs> I'm bordering on a little more of that orange than I thought I was going to do. And I really love this mix of colors down here. It turned out fantastic and it sold like crazy too. See that thing that does not belong? Now it's going to go away. And I'm thinking maybe a little more yellow in there won't hurt my feelings any. I'm going to try and fake out where my yellow goes over the edge of the canvas. Add a little more paint, maybe over here too. Let those two things meet right up. Hopefully you can see a lot of this. I'm sure there's moments when you can't see all of it. I think the mica gold is best used on its own, so I'm not minding using that without care. I think a little bit up here isn't going to hurt anything either. Oh, that's an awesome breeze. Wow. You will hear chimes. I wish I remembered what I did down here exactly, because then I could do it again. And that would be awesome. I think it had a lot to do with this iridescent pink from Art Mines. So I'm probably going to give myself a bunch of that right over that edge. Let it blend in. I think I want some more up here too. It might be kind of simple and it might not have taken very long, but it's got some kind of heart to it. I could probably let this go till tomorrow. I keep talking to myself about this, don't I? I don't know if I want dots, but I haven't made up my mind I don't. I think I might. And it's perfect because I can steal some paint.
or mica powder, which is probably what that is, which is a recipe that's available if you request me to tell you, no problem. I will be happy to help you out. I'm just going to take some more of this purple. add a few more dots and really really I'm hoping that I can keep some of it and if I need to go over it again tomorrow I will it also helps with the, the little accidents So I've got no minutes left, and that means when my timer goes off, I'll have two minutes to tell you guys whatever I want to tell you, which should start with, if you give me a thumbs up, it helps the placement of my videos. The, the YouTube algorithm only knows how long you watch a video and uh, if you give it a thumbs up or not. So I really appreciate you guys helping me. I'm not sure I really want to do a whole lot of anything else to this, but you've heard me say that before. It doesn't necessarily follow that it's going to be the way it works out. Um, I've used most of the colors I like. I'm going to try not to hurt myself, hurt my artwork rather, bending over that. I did bring a crib sheet. Oh, yes. So let me just tell you guys, I want to say thank you for all of the contributions that have kept me painting in the past. This last month, the August-September exhibition was horrendous. Um, I, didn't make, I didn't make the cost of a painting, let alone help... I got the shipping. That's what I got. So um, I'm changing the rules and I'm going to have a $10 minimum. If you want to donate, donate a thumbs up. And if you want to help me keep the studio and paint, donate 10 bucks. That's the only way to get into the contest anymore. Um, otherwise it's just not, not feasible. I get my hopes up. <laughs> anyway, so I do love all of you guys and there's probably close to 79,000 of you, although the subscription started to, to wane at the same time. Ooh, I love those dots right there. Wow. That was, that was really nice and unexpected. Yes, that's making me happy. Cool. So the timer will end before I get to tell you everything. If I don't read the end screens, show playlists of hundreds and genres. And it shows the exhibition video with the prizes for next month, hopefully. Um... You can contribute through PayPal or Patreon if you would like to help support me. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate all the support I've had in the past, too, very much. It really was working quite nicely. I'm not so sure about what I just did there while I was chatting with you, but I think it'll be all right in a minute. <laughs> anyway, so I do love you guys, and thank you all for the wonderful comments you leave me all the time. I really appreciate it. I work hard to come back here for you guys every day, but I love doing this, and you guys are the ones keeping me doing it. If you want to help me further, I have an Amazon link below the video, and on it you will find my book called Because I Can, and other tools and useful objects for paint pouring and, uh, and the business of paint pouring, etc. So... Hopefully, you guys will check that out. Um, I do sell my art. I give classes at the house in Spring Hill. And I think that's pretty much, other than the fact that I have Facebook groups called Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for, um, for students and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery for fans and collectors, um, I don't really need to tell you much of anything else. Other than if you go there, you'll get in. <laughs> you have to join, but you'll get in. And I look forward to seeing you guys there. I'm sure I left something off my list. It feels like I def definitely did that. Um, okay, so this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard going, that was really actually kind of fun and it didn't take a whole long time, but I don't promise anybody can do it. I got some skills.